story we first brought you last night. Healthcare costs are going up and higher premiums means a bigger cost to taxpayers. And last year, Rhode Island paid more than a billion dollars on Medicaid, the health insurance program for the poor. Eyewitness News supporter Madeline Wright explains how state leaders are fighting to keep the costs down. A large portion of your taxpayer dollars goes to pay for Medicaid. In fact, Medicaid makes up almost a third of Rhode Island's budget. Now the state's reached a milestone in finding a way to cut costs. People are going to be working. An update from the governor on the effort to reshape Medicaid. We're on track to realize over $100 million in state Medicaid savings this year alone without touching eligibility. I asked Health and Human Services Secretary Elizabeth Roberts how they saved that much money. We did that in a variety of ways. Uh, we um, really focused on coordinating care. It's amazing that about 6% of the people we serve are, account for about two-thirds of the expenses we have. The state is shifting more of those people away from hospitals and nursing homes and more toward primary care doctors and community health centers. We have some, some of our members who are in the emergency room 10, 15, 20 times a month. If we can have them be served in a doctor's office, we can actually meet your needs in that office. And only occasionally when you have a flare up or, or a more emergent situation, do you need to go to the emergency room? Nearly half of Medicaid spending in Rhode Island goes to hospitals and nursing facilities. So the state cut payments to both. Last year, the hospital rate cut saved $11.1 million. The nursing home rate cut saved $8.3 million. With Obamacare, they had had a significant uh, increase in revenue from, from us, so we asked them for some of that back. The hospitals and nursing homes agreed to accept the rate cut in exchange for bonuses they get for delivering high-quality care. Madeline Wright, Eyewitness News.